So this is the second time I'm filming this video. Hey everybody, it's Brain Smasher, and I'm sick as fuck. This is going to be a short collection update, and just checking in with y'all, it's been a while. Uh, thanks for watching my drunken Q&A video, thanks for entering my giveaway. I'll be doing the drawing tonight probably, depending on how I feel. Uh, I've called in sick for work today, and uh, I'm just kind of taking it easy. I'm gonna do some recovery, drink some alcohol seltzer, try and beat this shit into the wall. Um, haven't been buying a lot of music lately. Um, been kind of taking it easy on that front. Uh, I did some. <laughs> I found out. I counted the other day, and I got. I acquired buying, or I think I was gifted a few CDs or something um, during January. I got 40 CDs in January, so been kind of cool in it <laughs> for a while, even though, you know, I got a stack here to show you, uh, and this is included in that 40. Um, so yeah, I've been doing a little bit of that. Been ordering some patches. Um, I'm kind of wanting to fill out my patch jacket a little bit more. I've been spending some time sewing some patches onto my jacket, and uh, also been kind of getting politically active. Um, Every day I call senators, congressmen, representatives, shit like that, and just tell them uh, what they should vote against, and uh, just being a little bit more of a thorn in the side of um, this completely fucked up presidency that's only 10 days in now. Um, I don't want to get too political about it. Uh, I imagine a lot of you guys don't get involved in politics, but I am. I would feel like such an idiot if, you know, in the wake of all this, in, in the coming years, I, I realized I sat around making a bunch of metal videos instead of being active and uh, actively opposing this fucked up idiot that is our president now. So I've been doing that. I'm going to a march on uh, Sunday. Uh, I've been calling people left and right, signing petitions, uh, just kind of being a lot more aware and active. And it feels good, you know? It feels like... Um, it's good to know that you can do something. It's good that I'm just not watching all this horror unfold and going, gosh, I'm just one person. What can I do? You know, that's that's exactly the position they want you to be in. So um, stepping outside of that and actually being a little more aware and active is the best remedy for that, honestly. So let's see here. I have a couple LPs coming in. I ordered three CDs last night right before I'm going to bed. Um, it's like, that's kind of my ritual now. Like, I check my Discogs uh, wish list right before I go to bed every night. And last night, three things that I've been keeping an eye on for quite a while popped up. And I was like, yep, they fell within my price range and I, I bit. So, got a couple of things coming in. But, uh, yeah, right now I don't have a whole lot to show for uh, collection updates lately. Um, I did get this sweatshirt in from my buddy who's printing up shirts. Um, I just, I've been dying to have a cuddly sweatshirt, a brand new sweatshirt with this Darvulia image on it for the longest time. And I was just like, hey, you mind if, uh, you mind printing up a sweatshirt for that for me? So we did. Uh, thank you so fucking much. They also sent me a couple of CDs. I'll show you here in a minute. So, uh, Speaking of friends who also sent me something, this is uh, Bog Phantom's new release. Bog Phantom is a fellow YouTuber. Uh, if you don't know who that is, I'll put a link in the description below. You should definitely check out his videos. Uh, really interesting stuff. Um, kind of intersperses nature footage with collection updates and different album reviews. Kind of like I do, only I don't do the nature stuff. And he does. And he lives in a place uh, unfathomably beautiful. So check out Bog Phantom's channel. And also check out his band. This is his project, Bajmu. It's a solo project. Um, this is his newest release, Black Sorcery from Within Arcane Caverns. Uh, picked this up for a couple of bucks on his Bandcamp page. And, oh man, this is so fucking nasty and cool. Uh, it, it's just really strange. Like, if I had come across this release and listened to it, I would just... I would just think, God, this guy is just <laughs> unfathomably evil or something. Um, he's not, and it's just so weird to think, like, this is my buddy. <laughs> this
this guy walking through the wintry forests uh, up in like eastern Canada is walking with a knife in the trees. <laughs> they just like this kind of stuff just seems so uh, inhuman to me. And so to put put a personality that I've come to know and become friends with um, to this kind of music is so interesting to get to know. Um, through the music. So this is a new release. Um, it's limited to, I want to say like 30 copies or so might be sold out by now, but you can still check it out on Bandcamp. I recommend doing so. Um, it's really, really nasty, evil stuff. It's pretty interesting. Um, I've actually been kind of getting in back into that style of music again. Um, it's not, it's not my really preferred genre of music, the super nasty kind of stuff like, um, La Légion's Noir, I guess. Would, I would kind of liken it to something like that. Um, and I've been listening to some of that kind of stuff lately. By the way, uh, I chose what we're listening to today. This is the split of uh, Crooked Necks and Circle of Ouroboros. I played the other side of this split um, in another video, so I thought I would play Circle of Ouroboros' side because this just sounds like what it feels like in my head right now. I'm just stuffed full of snot. I'm sneezing every once in a while. A lot of head pressure, and I'm just kind of drowsy and whatever. Um, I thought I would make it through this winter without catching a cold, but I was sadly fucking mistaken. Um, so yeah, Circle of Ouroboros. Let's see here. So I got that cassette in. Um, I really need to get a cassette wall rack or something. Like I don't have a lot of them, you know. My cassettes are sitting up in a shoebox on my shelves over here. Um, I, I, like I said, I don't really ever listen to cassettes. But um, these days, you know, I just want to support an artist, and the only way to do so is by buying a cassette. So that's what winds up happening. Um, so on New Year's Day, I went to a blog that I check on like every two months or so called Contaminated Tones. Um, it's an active blog, thankfully. Um, the guy just kind of covers a lot of sort of odd, left of center kind of uh, stuff. And I really appreciate how he covers stuff that um, isn't what everyone else is talking about. Um, and he brings to light some interesting stuff. And so the other day what he reviewed was this cassette from Agonia called Adormir Eterno. This is a Portuguese band. Um, I don't know, there's, there's just something really unique about the recording style. I guess to the, to the untrained ear, you know, it's just pretty doomy, repetitive, sort of atmospheric sludge, maybe black doom in a way, but there's just something about the recording. The music is great for that, uh, for that type of music, but the recording is done in such a unique way. It just sounds so distant. It's almost like they recorded it onto a cassette and didn't really like how good it sounded, so they had like another cassette player, one was recording and one was playing and recorded the cassette on another cassette player or something. I don't know, there's just, somehow there's just this sort of distance between you and the band that somehow just like draws me in that much more. Um, and then the repetitiveness of the music just works so well with um, that production quality to it. Um, but I just really found this a fascinating release. I wondered how it sounded on cassette since like the mp3s that I got from the Bandcamp page already sounded like that so I'm curious to put this on and see how this sounds and I also picked up their uh, oh by the way this is number three of 100 and I picked up their previous release I haven't listened to this yet um, this is the year this came out the year before this is called Odesvanser uh, I don't know, um, but uh, I haven't listened to this yet. I'm a little hesitant. Um, it's one of those situations I'm sure you're familiar where like you discover a new band and you check out an album and it blows your mind and you find out that they have you know two or three other albums and you wind up going like, uh, if it's not as good as this one, then I'm not so sure I'm going to be crazy about it and I don't want to dislike a release by this band just yet, so I'm just going to stick with this one for now until, you know, I, I wind up checking this one out. Anyways, War Productions out of Portugal put these both out. Um, I highly recommend checking out at least, this, at least this one, and if you're gonna pay the postage from Portugal to the States or wherever you're at, you might as well just pick up both of them. They're pretty cheap. 
So the next thing I got in was uh, Evokens Atra Mores on CD. CD's in my car right now. I just decided last year, fuck, Evoken is one of those bands that I listen to quite often, and all their stuff is really good, but I, I only had their first album, uh, Embrace the Emptiness, I think it is. So I just decided I'm going to go back and buy every single one of their albums um, from the most recent one, which is this, uh, and on. So this I got in, uh, fucking so good. Um, I, I would say it's about time for these guys to put out another one, but they... They just do Doom so fucking well. Um, they bring a little bit of atmosphere. They bring a little bit of kind of a hint of melody to it. Um, and these are the guys that do bands like Dizma, um, Death Fortress, those guys from New Jersey, you know, so fucking guttural, pummeling kind of stuff. This is just so fucking heavy. Next time you're in the mood for Doom, put on Evoken if you're not familiar. This. Seriously, this is like one of my favorite Doom bands. I, I, I'm pretty sure they're going to be getting that way anyways. Sorry, my words are escaping me because I'm sick as fuck still. Um, this is only the second day. It's really like the first day. It's really sinking in that I'm fucking ill right now. So along with this amazing sweatshirt that I've been wearing for six days straight, my buddy sent me uh, a bunch of CDs that I wasn't expecting, so thanks so fucking much again. And not just a bunch of CDs, but CDs that he thought I would like, and he was dead fucking on. It's so strange to have someone know you so well and send you some CDs, and it's just like, fuck! It just makes it that much, it makes you cherish an album that much more when you know someone gave you a copy of it, you know? So I had been thinking about getting uh, a copy of this or a copy of their newer album. This is Howls of Ebb and the album Vigils of the Third Eye. This came out on I, Voidhanger. Uh, I want to say 2012 or so. Um, I'm really glad to have a copy of it too because there's a bunch of paintings in this booklet that are really fucking cool. I enjoy the artwork on this quite a bit. And the album is really fucking good. Um, really strange, experimental sort of atmospheric death metal. Look at those paintings. Really fucking cool. Um, but yeah, it, it's really refreshing to hear a band have a unique take on the death metal genre. Uh, and Howls of Ebb is definitely one of those bands. So happy to have a copy of their first album. And let's see here. Next, he sent me... Man, I had just thought the other day, I was like, I need to get a copy of Marble Bog's Forest Heart. Um killer atmospheric Russian black metal um, kind of like kind of reminds me of the blaze birth hall bands except without all the sketch and the uh, shittiness behind that but you no know, nature worshiping black metal this came out on autopsy kitchen I want to say in 2007 um, yeah check out marble bug by the way everything I talk about as I say in every video will have a link down below I've had a problem lately where people don't apparently think to click the information that is below every video. I put some effort into putting stuff down below there, and I even say it in every video, so I don't know how you could possibly miss it. Anyways, it's like probably the most frustrating thing about having a YouTube channel right now that people don't think to look at the fucking shit that I put below my videos. I'll stop right here. <laughs> it gets me a little pissed off. Uh, anyways, the next thing he sent me was uh, a two CD tribute to Rotting Christ. Uh, this is really fucking cool. It's got uh, Nichochwin on it, but I, the thing is I already bought this when it came out. Um, it's got Nichochwin, uh, Obsequii, who I fucking love to death on here. Bunch of other cool bands. Um, first CD has 10 tracks and the second one has 9. Um, you can pick this up for relatively cheap. It came out on Azermadoth Records in 2013. I recommend doing so. Um, I might wait for... Hey, you mind? I'm doing a video here. Look at this cat. Can you believe this guy? You want to be Ah! Anyways, check out that Rotting Christ uh, double CD tribute. The next thing he sent me was... Ah! Asshole! This band is called Haggle. Hoggle. Uh, album's called Airman Soul. Um, I put this on for a second just to get kind of a taste of what it is. Um, a little too overproduced or chunky for my sort of thing, but... 
you know, maybe I'll give it a listen sometime. It says, Russian Shattering Black Metal Barbarians. Um, I don't know, Viking metal from the looks of it and the sounds of it. Next thing, uh, let's see here. Another band I had been thinking about buying uh, and get starting to acquire their discography is Evil Feast. So this is Evil Feast's split with a band called Eisenheimen. I'm not familiar with them at all, uh, but this came out on Alice Stenner Productions. Not sure when. Oh, wait a minute. Now this says Marble Bog. I don't understand this. The spine says Evil Feast Marble Bog. Oh, okay. This is a fucking split between Evil Feast and Marble Bog. I'm an idiot, apparently. <laughs> I hadn't even looked at that right. Oh my gosh. Even better. Um, so this is Marble Bog, the band I already like, and Evil Feast, another band I already like. Um, killer. So now I have this. Um, great gift. How did you fucking know that I've been wanting to get Marble Bog and Evil Feast? Did I say that in one of my videos and I don't remember? <laughs> Either way. Um, next we've got here is Converge, Rivers of Hell. This is a three-way split, and I'll probably fuck this up too, uh, between the band The Crevices Below, Tempestuous Fall, and Midnight Odyssey. Um, I don't know, there's, there must be some sort of concept behind this that, I don't, that I'm not getting right off the bat, but uh, Midnight Odyssey was a band that I've been meaning to check out and listen to some more. Even though the track that they did on the Summoning Tribute was the only one that I didn't really like. Um, either way, now I have a reason to check them out because it's a CD I own. Lastly, this is Thunder War, The Birth of Thunder. Uh, this is just like a four song little EP. Um, really nice painting on the cover there, I kind of like that. Um, I want to say this is like a Dutch, maybe? thrashy death metal band. Not really my kind of thing, but it was pretty cool to listen to. Um, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I will probably be doing a drawing video here for the Q&A giveaways uh, here shortly, so stay tuned for that. And uh, subscribe if you haven't, and whatever. Have a good everything.